So what are the odds that the President Trump has a 700,000 lead, vote lead in Pennsylvania by midnight on election night, and then he loses by 60,000? What are the odds of that happening? I still don't know. All right, I have information, but I don't know that. I'd like to know that, wouldn't you? What the odds are there? That's called analytics. Now, if you could build a strong analytic case that this vote was off the chart crazy, that goes a long way to convincing we the people that there was fraud. Um, Let's start with the facts. Here's what we know here at the No Spin News. So Joe Biden received a record number of votes, all right, Uh, 15 million more than Barack Obama received in 2012. 15 million more. That's a colossal jump, is it not? The black vote. Barack Obama got 93% of the black vote in 2012, all right? 13% of the title um, of the entire vote was African-American. All right, Joe Biden got 87%, 6% less than Barack Obama. All right. No incumbent president has ever lost an election in a century and a half. It's modern times. All right. Gaining more votes in the second run. No president has ever lost when he gained more votes. Donald Trump gained 11 million more votes than he did in 2016. So in modern times, he's the only president to lose, gaining more votes than he did the first time around. 11 million, that's substantially more. 74 million votes. Joe Biden is the first president in 60 years since John F. Kennedy to lose Ohio and Florida and still win the presidency. Now that's an anomaly, okay, but it's interesting and it goes into the analytic category. The Wall Street Journal, and that is one of the few corporate media that I believe is honest. The Journal independently analyzed 19 counties throughout the USA that had been right on their voting records over the past 19, over the past 40 years. So for the past 40 years, 19 counties in this country had picked correctly, 19. 18 of them went for Trump. Only Clallam County in Washington State did not. Again, that's not evidence that overturns, but it's certainly curious. All right, so Donald Trump won 81% of the counties. 81%. Joe Biden underperformed Hillary Clinton in every major metro county around the country except for Milwaukee, Detroit, Atlanta, and Philadelphia, the counties that are suspect. Again, Joe Biden underperformed. Hillary Clinton did worse than she did in losing to Donald Trump, except for Milwaukee, Detroit, Atlanta, and Philadelphia. That's pretty, wow. Is that a coincidence or what? Okay. Donald Trump earned the highest share of minority votes for Republicans since JFK, since 1960, Richard Nixon. Okay, so Trump outperformed all over the place, all over the place. Biden won only 17 percent of the counties, as I said, Okay, where he won 524 counties, Joe Biden. Barack Obama won 873 counties. And um, Donald Trump won 2,534 counties five times as many as Joe Biden. Now, the reason that Biden won was California. California, massive, massive Biden vote. And Detroit, that's Michigan. Milwaukee, that's Wisconsin. Philadelphia, that's Pennsylvania. And Atlanta, that's Georgia. Now, the circumstantial case I just laid out to you is Impressive, to say the least. You would think, you would think that journalists would say, you know, look into some of this. This doesn't really stack historically or any other way. 
does it. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. As you all know, the dollar is at a 10-year low, and November could spell real trouble. That's why I recommend you consider physical gold and silver, and the only company I do business with in this area is American Hartford Gold. You can call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you a free gold coin on your first qualified order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold's up over 40%, silver over 60%. So please don't wait. Call them now, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. 